Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a haul. I recently, this is like within the last like month or so, have been picking up um, some stuff just, you know, there's Christmas gifts, there's uh, stuff I see at the drugstore, there's a lot of new releases going on right now. So I have gotten a lot of that stuff. This is stuff I've never showed on my channel before. So around this time like I got the Peach Palette, the new Wet n Wild Foundation and Concealer, but since I've already talked about those on my channel, I figured I wouldn't include them in the haul. So these are all products that I've never talked about on my channel, that are brand new, and to me at least. And I'm so excited to talk to you guys about them, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna randomly pick things out of here and just kind of like talk about them. Some of these I've tried, some of my haven't, so yeah. So the first thing that I got is the Maybelline Master, Master Strobing Liquid um, in the shade Light. So they recently came out with three of these strobing liquids or whatever, and I only got one of them because it's the only one that would match my skin tone because I'm quite fair, and the other ones were a little bit deeper. So this one looks like this. It's just one of those really nice kind of like iridescent. It's actually really, really nicely pigmented. Like honestly, like I put a lot on my hand, but still like it's really, really pigmented. So this honestly looks almost identical to the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drop in the shade Celestial, which is the one that I have. Um, but yeah, this is so, no, so nice. And I used this once underneath my foundation. And I honestly, I didn't notice that it made my foundation like break up or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of on the fence with whether I even like cream products or not. I kind of go back and forth with, do I like them? Do I not? I definitely like cream bronzers. Not sure how I feel about cream blushes. Not sure how I feel about cream or liquid highlighters. Some of them make my foundation kind of break up and look weird underneath. Some of them don't. I just don't know, but this is pretty good. Next, let's fast forward to something I got for Christmas. I got these from Tarte. Um, these are the Lip Surgeon's Power Pigments. So I got four of the shades. These are really, really nice just to throw in your bag. So I'm gonna swatch them for you guys. The first one is called Glisten, and that's the one I'm wearing right now on my lips. It's so, so pretty. So we have this. It's a really nice everyday throw in your bag kind of color because you really don't have to have a mirror to apply these because they're just kind of like really light and pretty. Next, I have the shade Blushing Bride, which looks like that. Next is the shade Blissful, which is a little bit more of a corally reddish nude. And then lastly, we have the most um, probably like BAM kind of colors is the shade Natural Beauty, which looks like this, which is a really nice, um, kind of a fuchsia red color. These are pretty, these taste and smell like peppermint. They're so nice, so yeah. Okay, so I was running low on my mascara. Um, I was using the L'Oreal uh, Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I honestly do not like that mascara. I know that so many people like totally like swear by that mascara and think it's so so good. I honestly just don't like it. It makes my eyelashes look super super clumpy and I'm not into that look. I like really separated voluminous lashes, not super chunky um, kind of spidery lashes. I don't like that. Um, so I heard so many people talking about the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara and I thought I would give it a try because it's so popular. And I hated my mascara I was using right now. I love this mascara. It's so, so good. So the first time I applied it, I used it with my Dior Lash Primer that I always use. It did not look good with that primer at all, and I was kind of like, what the heck, another bad mascara. But then I applied it just by itself the next day, and it looked so, so good. Like, I'm so, so glad I picked this up, and I think it's really, really nice. This is what the wand looks like. Looks like I have a mustache. Um, anyway, it's a really nice wand. It's kind of, the bristles are really, really short. The wand is kind of long itself. Um, basically, why I like it is because it looks like it adds more volume to like the root of my eyelash. It makes my lashes look separated, but still voluminous. Um, and I don't, I hate chunky, like really, really chunky, clumpy lashes, but it makes them a little bit to the point where it looks good, not where it looks like you have like one just like lash. You know what I'm saying? Next are some new products that I got from ColourPop. These were limited edition. I'm not sure if they're available still. 
Um, but these are, this is their Christmas collection. So the four eyeshadows they came out with for Christmas, oh my gosh, like ColourPop eyeshadows, I have never had one that I've just been like, this sucks. They are all really, really, really good. So I'll kind of swatch these for you. The only thing that kind of sucked about it is that some of them came broken when I got them, which if you don't know, if you've never like used a ColourPop eyeshadow, they're a really, really unique formula and they're really... Um, kind of creamy but still like a pressed pigment type of thing they're very easy to break like I can so see it like you could just put your finger in it and it just kind of like moves with it your finger I don't know it's kind of hard to describe but so yeah this one as you guys can see is like jank like I had to kind of put it back together because they're kind of creamy you can press them together again so I wasn't super upset that they came broken because I knew I'd be able to fix it it's a shade slay like Christmas slay I just think these are so, so stunning. They're so pretty. Um, this one I actually used recently when I did a smoky eye. I didn't like film it or anything, but um, I used this as like my middle shade, like the shade in my eyelid. It looks so nice. Next, I have the shade Just For Fun, which is more of a sheer formula, I would say. And it looks really, really nice just on the lid, as you guys can see. It's kind of sheer, but shimmery. And yeah, it's very iridescent. Next, I have the shade Tinsel, which is, I think this is the one that's like blinding. Maybe. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. It's like my ideal purple eyeshadow. I love this shade. I wish these were permanent, but I mean, all of ColourPop eyeshadows are really good, so you really can't go wrong with any of them. Then, lastly, I have the shade Koosh. This one, you guys will die when I swatch this. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I got, when I swatched this for the first time, I couldn't believe, like, how pigmented and beautiful this is. Are you kidding me? Like, ah! And what's awesome about ColourPop eyeshadows is that they don't just swatch beautiful. They actually look really, really great on the eye, too. Like, it's not misleading in that sense. I know a lot of really, really glittery eyeshadows, they look good, like when you swatch them on your arm and when you're playing with them, but when you actually put them on your eyelid, they don't really look that great. These, trust me, they look amazing. And I hopefully, maybe I'll film a tutorial using one of these, but oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. ColourPop, yeah. I have some more ColourPop goodies to show you. So the first thing I was so excited about, I was trying, when I got these eyeshadows, I was trying to spend $30 so I could get free shipping. Which is awesome. ColourPop is so affordable and I hadn't even spent $30 yet. So what I decided to do was get um, just some other stuff. So I got this. I've been wanting to get it for a really long time. It's the um, Super Shock Cheek Pearlized. So it's a highlighter. And this is in the shade Flexitarian. This is another one that came broken. Oh my gosh. This is so crazy. Like, are you ready for this? Um... Literally, it looks like I just rubbed silver on my skin. So as I turn to the side, you guys can see it's kind of a beigey highlight. It's not like straight up silver like it looks right there. Um, it's so, so pretty. Like, I love this. Like, on oh, my cheeks, like, stop. Okay, so <clears throat> more ColourPop goodies. But this was actually a Christmas gift from one of my really good friends. It was like, came in a little set. I already threw away the packaging, but they are three lip products. So I'm so excited. And these are totally colors that I actually would wear too. And they're perfect for this time of the year. I can't wait to wear these in fall too. They're so nice. The first one is an ultra matte lip in the shade Mama, which is kind of a really nice fiery red orange color. It, maybe it looks really, really red on camera, but it, it's kind of more orange in person. It reminds me a lot of Kylie Cosmetics 22 how it looks really orange but also looks super red. Next, I have the Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Love Bug, which is another like reddish, orangey color, but it's a little bit more brick-like. Um, definitely darker and definitely more red. But yeah, this is almost a straight up brick color, so yeah, I love this shade also. Lastly, we have an Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Calypso. These Ultra Satin Lips are so good. Like, I love these. I love the Ultra Matte Lips, too. They are a little bit drying, but they are pretty good. But the Ultra Matte, Ultra Satin Lips, sorry, are so good. Oh, my God, there's a wasp in here. Anyway, so this is just a really nice, cool-toned pink color. Um, pinky. I guess I wouldn't really say pinky nude. It's just kind of a pink. 
so so nice so pretty so this video is mostly color pop i just realized that like i have a lot of color pop <laughs> so next i got um the color pop ultra glossy lip in the shade weho this is a shade that i've literally been keeping in my purse like just right now i was like oh my god i got i got that color pop lip gloss like it's just been in my purse i had to go pause the video and go get it they're really really shiny they're a little bit sticky but not when you apply them on your lips like they don't feel sticky they're really really comfortable what I found so unique and so awesome about these um, glossy lips is that I could apply this twice. Like some, Usually with glosses what will happen is it will kind of like coagulate on the inner part of my mouth and create like those little white lines and that drives me absolutely crazy. So what I liked about this is that it just kind of wore off naturally. So then I just went to the bathroom, I think it was at Target, went to the bathroom, reapplied it, not a problem. For ColourPop. You guys better just hold on for a sec. So, I got a bunch of their new eyeshadows. So these aren't all ColourPop, but these are just where I'm keeping them right now. These two, and all of these are ColourPop. So, I'm going to swatch on my arm for you guys. Okay, so the first shade I have is called Paper Tiger. Then we have IOU, Take the Lead, Making Moves. Lost and Found, Stay Golden, Piece of Cake, Come and Get It, and Goody Two Shoes. The formula of these are fantastic. The mattes look all pigmented, and also the glitters felt so smooth and are also so pigmented. I went to the drugstore and picked up a couple things from Wet n Wild. One thing um, is this Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. So. I heard about this bron first of all, bronzer, I don't think so. Um, even somewhat, I am like fair as fair can be, and this is still not a bronzer on me, so I don't really know what's up with that. But this is a bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. So I heard about this from Kathleen Lights, who is one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. She's just so nice and um, just, she has really good recommendations and I like watching her channel. And she talked about her favorite natural looking highlighters. And of course I was interested because I'm not always in the mood for like this, you know, sometimes I just not in the mood. So I thought, hey, I'll try this out because it's easy. I can grab it. This is really nice actually. Um, I don't know why it's called a bronzer. I think she in the video even talked about how she was kind of confused on why it was called a bronzer to begin with. I don't know if you can even see it on my hand, but it's a super, super subtle highlight. It's nothing crazy. Nothing that's going to blind anyone. Um, it's just a really nice color. It's slightly shimmery. When you swatch it, you can kind of see it's a little bit shimmery, very powdery. However, it doesn't look powdery um, on your face or anything like that. It just looks like a nice, really, really subtle glow. And yeah, for those everyday makeup looks where you're just like, it wouldn't really fit to put a really big highlight or you're just not really in the mood, um, then yeah, this is a really, really great and affordable option. That was not new from Wet n Wild, but this is new. This is one of their Mega Last liquid catsuit matte lipsticks. I got the shade Nudist Peach. So the first thing I noticed with this is, you can even see this on camera, is that it is a very runny formula. It's not um, uniformly pigmented. Um, yeah, the doe foot applicator is kind of funny looking. Um, as you guys can see, it's kind of a sloping thing. Yeah, I don't really know. But anyway, I have worn these on my lips. They do go all the way matte, which is rare for a drugstore matte liquid lipstick. Usually the problem is they don't dry matte. Um, and I know that was a problem with a lot of, um, I forgot the launch, but a drugstore brand launched liquid lipsticks and I remember the big complaint with people was it didn't dry matte, which that happens with a lot of brands, including high-end brands sometimes. So these are cool that they do dry matte and you can see it's kind of starting to dry, but it's a little bit sheeny still. Um, but yeah, they are a little bit drying on my lips. I need to try it out a little bit more. I didn't really wear it very long, so I can't really tell you about the wear time or anything, but it did feel a little bit drying. So also, L'Oreal released a new foundation. This is kind of new now. It's a little bit older. I just haven't really talked about it on my channel. This is the Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Weightless Feel Foundation. I have used this, and I have such mixed feelings about it. Like, I hate it. Like, I wish... I could just come up with like a straight answer like I like it or I don't like it. Because I've used this two different ways and I liked it one time and I didn't like it another time. This with a brush. Okay. First of all, let me show you guys kind of the texture of this. I hope you guys can kind of see this. 
So, as you guys can see, it is a very, very, very silicone-y feeling foundation, which typically I do not like. Um, I actually almost despise that, that kind of texture. Um, but basically, I tried using this with a brush because I find that silicone-based products apply better with a brush. But then it, it looked so streaky, it looked so crazy, and I would imagine that if you have dry skin, you probably wouldn't like this foundation because it is kind of silicone based. And usually those kind of products um, stick to dry patches on your skin. So that's not a good thing, obviously. It looked a lot better with a beauty blender, but let me tell you, it took forever for it to look good. I was blending like crazy forever, it seems like, to get it to look really, really nice. It's hard to blend some foundations with a beauty blender. It just takes a little bit of time, but it did look a lot better that way. Lastly from the drugstore is such a hit, I can't even tell you. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. Chloe Morello here on YouTube I was talking about how much she loved this, and I was like, I'm just going to give it a try. Let's do it. Because my hair is darker now, it used to be blonde, if you didn't know. Um, I was kind of afraid to use these kind of brow gels because I was like, I don't want my brows to look too dark, but now I'm like, uh, bring it on, because I'm obsessed with my dark eyebrows now, like how much darker they are. Um, so yeah. So this is so, so good. I got the shade um, Brownie Brows, and basically it just adds little fibers to your brows. So if you have like thinner eyebrows and you want them to look a little bit more voluminous, this has little fibers in it, so it'll make your brows look thicker. Also, it kind of coats them and makes them stiff so that they don't move throughout the day. This is such a hit. And it's so cheap, it's definitely under $3, I think. So yeah, highly recommend that. All right, now let's finish off with some high-end makeup. So for Christmas, I got the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. This is so cool, I wasn't even expecting this. I was just, oh, shop my loves list, mom, and you'll find something you like for me. Like she was like, I don't know what to get you. Girl, my loves list. Um, anyway, so this is so, so good. I've used this a couple times, as you guys can see. It is so nice. It blends out so evenly. This is my first contour kit, my cream contour kit, I should say. Um, I don't have the powder one from Anastasia, but yeah. This is really, really, really nice. And yeah, this is the light version, obviously. You can use this under the eyes, um, around the face, underneath the eyes also, to bronze, to contour. So good. I love this. So thank you, Mom. So then, this is incredible, in my opinion. This is the Pastel Goth Palette from Kat Von D. This is brand new and this is so gorgeous and so worth every single penny. This wasn't that expensive, I don't think. Um, but this is so good. Like These colors are out of this world pigmented and I'll swatch every single one of them for you guys. But it's so good. I love this palette so much. Kat Von D does a really good job with colorful eyeshadow, I think. So the first shade we have is Star. Clementine, Meow, Dope, Doom, Gloom, Dagger, and Skull. I'm so impressed with these shades, especially that yellow. It's so nice. I like it because it really reminds me of Easter, and I love Easter. It's just such a fun holiday. But yeah, they're so pretty. Um, this is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade... 22 is so pretty. Sephora just came out with a bunch of new colors of these because they were such a hit. Um, so I got this one. I thought it was a really nice, like, pinky, nudie, peachy color, which are my favorite kind of colors ever. So this is so, so nice, and I'm so excited to wear it. I haven't actually tried this out yet. And then lastly, for makeup, I have one hair item that I want to show you guys. This is the Marc Jacobs. Um, Le Marc Liquid Lip in the shade Fawn Over Me. These were getting talked about so much on YouTube that I just figured I might as well just go and get one. I'm so glad I did because these are so nice. They're so comfortable on the lip. And once again, I got another brownie pinky nude. This was less peachy though. So there you go. These do dry to like a demi matte finish. Not completely matte, I wouldn't say. Um, but it's so, so pretty. Sorry guys, I just keep looking at this wasp thing that's like crawling around. I'm not a big bug person, so this is kind of freaking me out a little bit. Anyway, these are so, so pretty. Um, they don't have that many colors, but the other one that's kind of a nude, I think I'm going to pick up because these are really nice. They wear for a really long time. They don't look drying on the lips. They don't feel drying. They're super comfortable. 
So yeah, I think this is definitely a hit. Hey guys, and then lastly, I picked up a hair care product. My hair recently has been, I don't know, it's kind of like flat looking, kind of dull, kind of like meh. So I thought I need a texturizing spray, something that's going to give it a little bit more texture um, and less of this like smooth hair that I'm just, I just don't like really, really soft, smooth hair. I never really have. Um, anyway, this is the Dry Bar Triple Sack 3-in-1. It texturizes, amplifies, and refreshes. I love Dry Bar so much, like just the name, the products, the way the products smell. Um, but yeah, I tried this in my hair and... It just gives your hair a really, really nice grip to it, which is definitely something that I need because I don't like my hair to be, like I said, super, super soft, super, super smooth. It's easier to work with when it's a little bit dirty, when it's a little bit textured. Um, so yeah, like when my hair is like a couple days old, that's the best time I feel like, I feel like my hair looks the best at that time, I should say. Um, so I kind of wanted to get a product that would give me that, you know, two or three day old hair without it actually being two or three days old. Um, so yeah, I really, really love this dry bar product. So that is everything I have to share with you guys that I've gotten recently from Sephora, Ulta, ColourPop, Drugstore, whatever. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hauls are some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube, so I thought that I would do one on my channel. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys um, are having a great day. Make sure to comment down below like if you've tried any of these products or if you see a product that you'd like to try or if there's any new makeup you're excited about because that's the kind of stuff I like talking about. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.